This is our new web tool, The Lost and the Found. Uh, my name is Michael Corey. I'm one of the developers here at Reveal, and I'm going to give you a quick tour. Uh, you'll notice, first of all, there's a warning screen that comes up when you first visit the site. There actually are photos of deceased people in here that are used for identification, so that's something to be aware of. But they are blurred by default. So basically, we've got a site with two columns, one with missing persons over here, and then one of unidentified bodies over here. You'll notice that the photos uh, in the unidentified bodies category are, um, are blurred in a lot of cases. Some of them are unfortunately uh, pretty gruesome. And you can control that uh, if you want to look at the photos, because the photos are also an important tool for helping you to identify people. You can uncheck this blur photos box, and that will show those uh, photos. From there, you can also filter uh, by a, a number of factors here. You can choose uh, results from a given state. So for example, we're in California, and that will change the results in both columns. If you don't want to do one state at a time, because cases often cross state lines, you can also search by region uh, to get a bunch of states at one time. So for example, the Pacific region. You can also search for terms. Uh, for example, tattoos is something that uh, investigators look at a lot in the database. So for example, if you we're looking for a dragon tattoo. You just put dragon in the search box, and you'll get results where if you look inside the case details, you can scroll down, and you should see green and red dragon tattoo, which there are also will be images of. You can also uh, choose what fields you want to sort the results by, and you can also choose uh, which age and year ranges you want. So for example, if you're looking for cases where the person is between 46 and 100 years old, you can do that. You can also do a search by years, and so you can control the years here, both up and down, to look for cases from different years. And you can also have very fine control over the dates if you click on the advanced date picker and choose a date through the date picker, for example, like that. And then if you think you found two cases that match, you can bring both of them up at the same time. And you, there's another form here that says submit a possible match. If you bring that up, you'll get a form here that gives you more details about the match. And uh, once you submit that, it will send an email that uh, will give you more information about how, if you believe this is a match, you can report that to local law enforcement authorities. And that's about it. Thank you very much.